when they retain your money, remember we talked about retained earnings. You want to know what kind of value they're going to create. Now, again, start with qualitative. And in addition, I mean, there's, a, there's so many intangibles in value investing things that you cannot put a number to. Uh, one of them is management, which is extraordinarily important, and um, the ability to allocate capital. Um, how do you suggest value investors should go about uh, evaluating management? Okay, okay, that's a really good question. And I think there are qualitative things you wanna look for, and then there's actually a quantitative number you wanna look for. In the book, we actually do this uh, for a company which is in health. So the qualitative thing about management is, and remember this is mostly gonna be for franchise businesses because the bad managements are usually gonna die uh, in the competitive markets. And therefore, ideally they'll get taken over and the asset values will circulate. So we're now talking about the franchise uh, businesses. The first thing you want these companies to do is the boring everyday stuff of improving operation, operating efficiency. So when you go to talk to that management, you wanna look at their record of growing margins without crazy investments, without sort of trying to do leading edge technology, just every day paying attention to small improvements and have a record of growing margins. So that's the first thing you wanna look for. And you can quantify that. When you project out organic growth, it's going to be organic growth in sales, which is driven by economic conditions, but also organic growth in margins. It's going to be driven by technology and management. Second thing is when they retain your money, remember we talked about retained earnings. You want to know what kind of value they're going to create. Now, again, start with qualitative they better be investing where their competitive advantages carry over. That is in the markets they're already in or the adjacent markets where their economies of scale apply. And if they're going to China and all over the world, and especially if they're doing it in an undisciplined way, forget about it. They're not going to create that. But then you can look at their expansion history because they typically have to report geographic and other segment performance and you can look at the returns that they've generated. You can also look at their history of acquisitions. And there is a number that we talk about in the book, which is a value creation factor. For every dollar that they retain and reinvest in active sort of expansion of their business, how much value do they create? For Intel, that number is about 20 cents. Because what they do is spend $16 billion on mobile eye that has nothing to do with their core business, where they bring nothing to the table, where they almost yes. certainly overpaid. And the other one they did was programmable chips. And since they reported that segment after they bought it, you could see that they were earning about a 20% of their cost of capital on what they spent on that business, which was another close to 16, 12 to $16 billion. So tracking what management does qualitatively 